Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick. Today I'll show you how to set up KVM under Debian. KVM is the Linux kernel virtual machine. It enables you to run virtualized operating systems under your Linux operating system. So you can run a machine within a machine. It's similar to VirtualBox or VMware or Zen or other things that are like that. So the first thing you'll have to do is check to make sure you've got the processor extensions to be able to support KVM. KVM requires that you have the Intel or the AMD kernel virtual machine extensions or this will not work. So if you run this command under Linux, grep for VMX or SVM on proc CPU info, if you get something back, you're good to go. If you get nothing back, you're not good to go. Since every modern processor includes these, it's very unlikely that you would not be able to use this. However, if you don't get anything back, it could just mean that the support is not enabled in the BIOS. Oftentimes, BIOS manufacturers disable that support by default. You'll have to go in there and turn that on. So now let's go ahead and add the packages. I'm going to install Vert Manager, which is a graphical client for setting up virtual machines. However, if you don't want to have a graphical user environment on your system, you don't need to do this. Simply install the libvert-daemon-system package instead, which will give you all the prerequisites. But Vert Manager includes that and everything else we'll need to make it virtual. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now we need to add our user to the KVM groups. So let's go see what they are real quick. So we need to add our user to the libvert group and the libvert QEMU group. So I just want to go ahead and make sure that everything has been started properly. So we're just going to go ahead and restart the machine. And when it comes back up, we will be able to log in and see if we can set up a virtual environment. All right, log back in. All right, go to Applications under System and Virtual Machine Manager. And now we can make a new virtual machine. We can use a local install, we can use Pixie Boot, or we can do other things. Uh, I've already got a Debian CD mounted here, so we'll just use that for now. But you can also use an ISO image on the disk. It's asking you for memory and CPUs. I'll go ahead and use two CPUs. And I'm going to change that to 8 gigs because there's not much space on this particular machine I'm running this test on. And that should be fine, although I will need to customize the configuration a little bit, I believe. And it says the default network is not active, so we'll need to go ahead and start that. That will enable it to run with NAT. And then go into CPUs and check copy host CPU configuration. And tell it yes, you want to save that. And go ahead and hit begin. And there you go. We have Debian running on Debian. And that's the installer. We can go through and run this just like any other virtual machine. All right. That pretty much sums things up for KVM. Thanks for watching.